bread man. Alright gamers, sorry if you don't like scripted content, but maybe you can check this video out for me. If you're new here, maybe you could check out my gaming content. And also, I know all winners are canon. But that was more to get you in here, it was a little bit of clickbait, sorry about that. This is more about which winner is more likely to have actually won. So let's get right into it. In every season of Total Drama, two characters win. Usually it leads to getting every viewer some sort of victory. You either get Fun Lovin' Owen or Goth Girl Gwen. Bad Boy Duncan or Kind Hearted Beth. Mary Sue Guy or Mary Sue Girl. But that usually leaves the viewer with one main question. Who really won? Now you could take the cheap way out and just say the winner is the winner from Canada. But sometimes that leads to winners that are less fit for the role. Let's look at the actions in the finale to deduce who actually was more likely to win. Total Drama Island is probably the most open and shut case. The major difference in the finales is where Izzy stands. In front or behind of the finish line, Izzy standing in front of the finish line is like majorly out of character for her. Like, she may be crazy, but she's smart as hell. Then in the Owen version of Total Drama, 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 Drama Island, we see him winning only to lose it all in hopes of getting a million, which is perfectly in character. And no matter where you watch Redonkulous Race, I'm like 90% sure I'm, I'm right on this. Owen says that he already won a million, which technically he didn't, he won 100,000. And the alternative in Total Drama, Drama, Drama Island is just having it be stolen from Gwen, which kind of sucks. So Owen was probably the most likely winner. Total Drama Action has a bit more to it though. For Beth being the canon winner, we know that a majority of the contestants like her more, and after we see her go on a trip to Paris with Lindsay. With Duncan, we watch him and Courtney have a legal battle for the pet raccoon, which is pretty pricey, and we see Duncan quit World Tour, which he could afford to do if he ought to run. So, if we have little evidence for each character, we have to look for evidence against them. The evidence against Beth we, we have two, those being the gap between Action and World Tour and her parents having to sell their car. The gap between could show us that Beth and Lindsay just saved up for the trip, and the selling of the parents' car shows that they, that they didn't have enough money to pay for the bail. Duncan winning just doesn't have that many holds. The closest thing to a hole I could think of is that uh, we already know he had a lawyer based on his message from home in Total Drama Island, so that we could assume that he would already not need the cash for the lawyer. But that could not mean anything since the lawyer is probably not a custody lawyer because we see his parents still together in that same video message from home. So I'm gonna have to give this one to Duncan. World Tour, in contrast, is way easier to decipher. Heather just makes the most sense. She throws Alejandro off the volcano. She's basically the main character of this season. And having her throwing in Alejandro's idol makes almost no sense. The closest evidence against her was her saying, Take it! Ah, what is wrong with you? You're crazy. Ugh. I was robbed! I deserve that money! In Revenge of the Island, but that works either way since Zeke stole the cash from her. It's safe to say that Heather was the real winner. Revenge of the Island is definitely a hard one. To start, let's not look at the finale, but rather All-Stars. With both of them returning, we have to look at what makes more sense. Cameron returning after a million, and Lightning coming for a chance at it again, or Lightning flexing on everyone by trying to win the million twice. But besides that, after the finale, the deciding factor of who wins is who falls first. Now what makes more sense? Cameron, who is canonically lighter than a doll, pushing over an Iron Man suit, or one of the strongest competitors was standing a major beating. I'm going to have to give this one to Lightning, even though he's clearly not the competitor they want us to root for, but Lightning just makes way more sense. All-Star's winner definitely means the least. No matter what happens, Mike and Zoe are sharing that cash. So I'm going to say that Mike wins this one. Not only was Mal the major villain of that season, and Mike was in the same body as Mal, and also defeated Mal, so Mike just makes more sense as a canon winner. In Pocket Tail Island, we only see the ending with no extra scene, and none of the finalists ever return, so we only have to look at the rest of the season. We see both Sean and Sky a lot, with some subplots each for both of them. Sean x Jasmine and Dave vs Sky are the major ones. I'm gonna say that Sean takes this one. He was the strongest competitor this season, uh, him hiking through the snow, 
to get through the end first definitely makes more sense than Sky, who, as an Olympic gymnast, is pretty strong. But Sean's a survivalist. He, he's Sean. If you watch this season, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, Sean takes this one. And finally, in the redonkulous race, the finals are the surfers, composed of Jeff and Brody, and the police cadets, with MacArthur and Sanders. This w is also one of the more cut-and-dry ones, at least for me. Even though Jeff has been there longer, the police cadets were basically the main characters after the best friends and the sisters. Being at odds with the ice dancers and constantly doing well in the challenges, and the cadets also being trained police officers, they're probably faster than the surfers. So I'm gonna say that the cadets are taking this. And just because it's fun, here's what I think would happen to the cash if they won. Owen, Gwyn, Heather, and Alejandro would all lose the cash for various reasons. Beth wasted all before Paris. Duncan would lose a bit of it during the lawsuit and running away from the feds in World Tour, but I'm gonna say that he keeps most of it. Cameron spends it on everyone. Lightning keeps this to himself. Mike and Zoe keep it together and share. Sean uses some of it on the gym for Jasmine and keeps the rest. And Sky, the surfers, and the cadets would all keep it all. But those last two would probably lose some after throwing it on the ground. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. If I get a response, I'll probably do like a short for the new season. And if I get a good response... I might even do some different kinds of these. I might take a character analysis or two. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I enjoyed making it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bread man.